packaging is a little faded. It almost looks like some sort of retro 80s product. It looks pretty cute, actually. <laughs> I like it. It's definitely cuter than this. It looks pretty cheap, <laughs> but pretty cool. I mean, these little gold plastic ones are, look even cheaper. This is Jen. Hi there. This evening I have a whole bunch of little packages from AliExpress that I got a long time ago. Um, and they're all nail related. And they're all kind of like fake nail related. Um, I did a video showing you guys once how I paint my fake nails before I put them on save like um, drying time when they're on your hands, you know. I kind of stick them to, to pencils, then paint them, and then wait, and then I can do designs and stuff like that. I don't have to wait for them to dry on my hands. Anyway, I'll like insert a little clip or something. And all of this stuff is um, like stuff that I bought as an alternative. There must already be a way of doing that without sticking fake nails with blue tack to the ends of pencils because that was just how I figured out how to do it. I'm sure that a lot of people have figured out much better ways than that. Anyway, I had a lot of comments saying that it looked like a really good idea. I even had some people try it out and somebody that said they already do that as well so it wasn't so silly. Hopefully in here there might be something that will make that process a little easier. Okay, so I'm going to pop these to the side and take them out one by one and let's have a look at what I got. I remember roughly what I bought, but it really has been such a long time that I don't remember. seems to always happen to me with my AliExpress hauls. Okay, let's start with this little guy. So all the packages have already been opened and checked at the time of delivery. So like last year, like summer. <laughs> I don't even know when. These packages have been collecting dust in the shopping bag. is a little faded. It almost looks like some sort of retro 80s product. <laughs> it says buckle type nail practice frame. <laughs> it's a purple one. Cool. Three pieces. Okay. Operating steps. There are Four operating steps. 
nail art practice frame with matched tips for painting, fitting the matched tips directly, also be fit for other shape tips with nail clay, then can paint on the nail tip. And the packaging is slightly faded in areas. I can see some nail tips So I don't know if they're just practice ones Like really you can't wear them Oh, okay So yeah, they're like I can see It's not focused But I can see there's like Little pegs underneath them So that they will go into The little stand So we have some little stands like this with holes here. Then we have little practice nails that pop in. And then I guess you're supposed to just practice on these and buy more of these. Let's just practice. But the way I wanted to use it is to pop these on and then stick my fake nails onto the practice. I guess is what it means here. It'll also be fit for the other shape tips with nail clay. <laughs> Me. So let's pop some of these out and have a look. It's cool that I've got three dots. I mean, there doesn't seem to be enough for these practice nails to do more than once on each. So, why is there a hole here? Along here? I don't know. Can they like link together? This one doesn't have a hole. And it's round. We have two rounded ones and one straight one with some holes in it. Why? I don't get it. Okay. I'm just gonna pop these little nails on here. They all seem to be the same size. It looks pretty cool. I just have to use the rest, like the proper stuff to stick them down, like blue deck. And it won't like swivel around like the pencils <laughs> that I use. So that will be cool. Okay, so this first one is looking pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna add, um, I don't know if I'm gonna add my opinion and testing them out at the end of this video or if I'm going to do a separate little video talking about them. Depends when I have time to edit and when I have time to test them and stuff. This will probably just be a haul because it's going to be pretty long as it is. Okay, I'm just going to put them on this straight one too. I don't know why this is straight and has holes in it. I don't get it. Maybe I should look on their, their shop and see if they have like other things that go with these. Maybe it'll be clear. I mean, now's not the time that I would be buying anything from China, but 
just to look to understand. Okay. So yeah, they look pretty promising, and I'm sure they're. is version number one. Okay. This next package is pretty big too, so I think I know what it is. It's kind of like this, but more cute, I guess. translucent bar with some magnets and then we have these little almost like little chess pieces <laughs> that you can put on the magnets so you can take them off and put them on when you're painting and stuff and they're just kind of to hold them in place and then you just like uh, blue tag your fake nails to these guys so let me yeah you can see they're little and it says one, it can not only be used as a practice stand but also can be used to display nail art I guess, yeah every tip holder has a magnetic bottom to allow it to stand no, to allow it to stand up Magnetic, no, the magnets are very flexible, easy to install and uninstall. I don't know if un, like install would be the word I would use there. Square chessboard design helps to increase pleasure to the manicure process. What? <laughs> chessboard design. I don't get it because they look like chess pieces and this is square. Both for professional salon use and DIY. Okay, for me it's DIY. I'm sorry that was awfully noisy, so you didn't see the unpacking of that. But okay, so here we have the clear rack, I guess, or square chessboard design, <laughs> and it's just like transparent. Um, it's hollow actually, it's not a full block with the little magnets. Then we have these little guys, I guess like chess pieces, that will hopefully stay pretty well in place. So the magnet feels pretty, pretty strong, movable, but I'm just going to hold it in place. The little chess pieces are plastic. Which I guess longevity wise is probably not great, but for what I'm going to be using them for and for the price I got it, it's not really a problem. Okay, so here is the full rack all together. It looks pretty cute actually. <laughs> I like it. It's definitely cuter than this, but it is it more practical or not? I don't know. Like the way that they show it is that like you can have it set up like that, and then when you can remove one individual one to get like closer and move around it and stuff. So I don't know, but I do like the idea of them just staying in place, and I can just paint them, which I guess you have with this as well. If the uh, magnets hold up. Okay. I'm just going to quickly open this one. So there's a slight design flaw in this uh, second one. I 
don't think it will make much of a difference in my use of it, but this magnet is like way off center. I don't know if you can see. It's like almost off the side, but it's, I mean, it's still in place, so hopefully it doesn't change how I use it. I mean, they feel pretty cheap, plasticky and stuff, but I think it looks pretty cute. Anyway. Okay. So there are the two that I have there. Let's see what's in here. Art. Malik. My Shopify. Instead of a bar, you just have one big kind of diamondy thing. Like obviously a fake diamondy thing, like a jewel, a big jewel, so you can paint one at a time. These guys, I guess, I'll just be like on the table like that. Um, I was thinking of just kind of using a mixture of these two, like having my nails on here. And if like I want to get one off and do a bit more detailed close-up work, I would pop it on this little guy. It looks pretty cheap. <laughs> but pretty cool. I mean these little gold plastic ones are look even cheaper than the silver ones, but I mean it's the same thing. But I don't know. I have a feeling that I'm gonna like these ones. But it's maybe just because they're cute. I don't know. <laughs> these look more stable and these look more fun. So so far I'm not sure which way I'm going. <laughs> okay, so I have three more packs. And I know what they are now. I remember everything that I got. So this one is a rather large one. And it's quite heavy. Well, it's not very heavy, but it's heavier than it looks. The size and the fact that it's flat. Okay, so this is green clay, so it's basically blue tack, but for some reason they call it green clay. Tack it, reusable and removable adhesive for home, office and school. Um, on the package of that, I talked about clay, so I guess we're talking about tack. Blue tack is yellow in France, or white. In the UK it's always blue. 
perhaps that's just something from my childhood, or is that still the case? So, how to use Don Green Clay, Treasure Clay. Remove the applicable amount from the ready-made cut square and ensure the clay surface is dry, clean, and free of dust. Place on the sticker surface. Press hard and know that the paste is firm. Okay. just got some of this stuff to use on all the different um, nail things because all of the alternative versions of what I was doing use blue tag anyway, like some sort of sticky This one first because I think I know what it is. Oh no. Totally wrong. <laughs> this has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. This uh, little package got put in the wrong pile. Oh. Is a pack of glow in the dark witchy slash vampire nails. <laughs> Some vampire teeth. I was gonna use these um, witchy glow in the dark nails to do a Halloween mic scratching video. <laughs> okay, so cool. Nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. Uh, look forward to that at Halloween. <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about that. Okay. So, this last one, I definitely know what this one is. So, this was more of a cute thing rather than practical, I'm going to say, because it is in the same kind of realm as these guys, but you'll see what I mean. It's probably not the most practical, but it's definitely the cutest. little flamingo and they're just little like I guess rubber or no they're a bit harder they're just like little figurines and you're supposed to put the nail on their head and just cut these out swans also, but I just got some flamingos. I guess you're supposed to buy five, but I just thought they were just cute and that I would just use them for one or two. And I didn't want to spend like 10 or 20 euros to get the full set. Because I guess you would need 10 actually, not just five. And they were like a euro or two each, so wow. I just thought for this test and this video it could be cool. So yeah. You just pop a little blue tag on the top of their head and then you hold them and you paint the nail on the top of their head. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was really cute, but I'm probably just going to put 
put them with my nail stuff to like hold something or use it to like stock my little bits of blue tack that I've already got ready or something like that. I don't think I'll be using them for the practical side. <laughs> but they're really sweet. They have a very tingly I'm going to get into testing all this stuff over the next few weeks. You'll probably see some of my nails that I have created using this array of little gadgets uh, in my next videos. I'll try and like film as much of the process as I can um, and just like do a little review type chat video about it. I'm not going to do like a proper like product review or anything, but just, I don't know, a little chit chat and show you some stuff. Okay, so I hope that you found this relaxing or at least interesting. I found it very interesting. This stuff is cool. I'm excited. I hope that everyone is safe and well and you're doing good. Are relaxed. And you can hear the slight rain in the 